Okay, so I know I said in my last video that today was definitely going to be a bastion day and everything, but you know what? As much as it pains me to disappoint those hundreds and thousands of viewers who are eagerly awaiting on um, some nobody's next video of a six-year-old game, I caught a glimpse of this on my... Uh, on the new re Steam releases section in Steam, yeah, that thing, and it it looked interesting. It's called uh, me metonymy, metonymy. That's what that word says, right? Metonymy. And uh, apparently, it's uh, it's a passion project. It's made by one dude. Um, he's been working on it since he was fifteen or something, from what I what I read. So uh, it might be interesting. You know, it could be a quirky little game. Don't know how long it is. Don't know, even know how it plays, really. We're just taking it on blind faith because I kind of like the art style and I kind of feel like anyone who's um, willing to take a gamble on making a, a passion project like this deserves to get it some attention and I'm happy to help that in any way I can. So we're going to dive in. As I say, metonymy. Let's let's see what it offers. Uh. Hmm. Or we would. You don't appear to have a mouse. Is this a controller game? Oh, plugged the controller in, and something's happening. So. That's that's a good sign. Can you hear her calling? Oh, you hear her calling? Look at her, she's fading. Calling. Calling. Calling! Calling for fuck's sake, calling! We don't have time for this. Look, we have to. Okay. What is it? We need to go back. Tracy. Alright, okay. You okay? Yeah. Get up! I'll find you! Oh shit, why did you do that? Fuck you! Just kick me down a hole. Wait, what? Oh, I'm in control now. Okay. Okay, so I'm a little worried now because it said session six. I don't know if there's actually five previous entries in this series. I, it didn't show any evidence of such in the uh, on, on the store page on Steam, but I might be wrong. I mean, what we've seen so far, yeah, yeah, the voice acting's good, and I quite like the way that was all delivered. A lot of. Uh, you know, uh, quick cuts and things, very dramatic. Character models, I mean this guy looks pretty cool to be fair, but there was something a bit off about the faces on those more human people. Whatever, we'll keep going. I do quite like this whole uh, aesthetic, it's simple, but it looks, looks nice.
walk animation could probably do with a little bit of polish. Again, probably nitpicking as I say, this is a game made by one guy and I kind of need to give it some sort of slack for that. It's still aesthetically pleasing even if it is a bit, uh, a little bit PlayStation 1-y at times. Oh, that confused me. Okay, right now I can't tell if I'm going anywhere or if I'm just walking on the spot. That's that's a little bit uncomfortable. I assume I am meant to be walking, but yeah, it's hard to tell from that angle. So I've got no clue why I'm this guy now, by the way, putting aside all the technical waffle. Like, I was... I assumed I was going to be that Colin guy, but then he got kicked down a pit, and now I'm some sort of... monochrome... demon goat man. A few flavours of Darth Vader in there. Can we go... I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to regret this, because he walks quite slowly, and I'm going to have to walk all the way back again, but... Do we have options is what I'm questioning. Don't know what the camera was doing then, but again we'll let it slide. Oh, invisible wall. Cool. I'm 100% not checking the other direction then. Just head up the stairs. Hmm, walk animation doesn't change on stairs either. As I said, this, it could use polish. Let's leave it at that for now. Who's the big uh, blood vomiting lady then? Who now sits on this throne now that Sapatra has fallen to this city? It must be one of the messengers or perhaps one of their chosen. But who? Less impressed with that voice acting. So we got six dudes. Yeah. And they're meant to sit on a throne? Do I decide who sits on the throne? Kind of just looks like a big old tongue, doesn't it? I assume it's meant to be some sort of blood vomiting thing, but... Just looks like she really likes the taste of her palms. Okay, so we got... Yeah, there's stuff down these paths, okay. I really wish he could sprint or something, you know? Maybe that would ruin the ambiance, but it can be a little bit frustrating when you know where you have to go but have to spend the next three minutes walking there. So what's this then? Serving as the mother of the damned. Before it became overwrought with the disease, they raised many of the choir's children to greatness through her patience and kindness. Of those she raised, six found redemption in the voice of the Golden One, showing the way for those to come later that hope is still within reach. Kyria Sibyl, Tear of the Divine Eye. Nero Callum, Champion of the Insolent. Maria Marja, the twelfth priestess. Geiske, Geiske, Geiske Gabriel, instructor of the divine right. Dante Vivus, chevalier of the Metatron. That is a good title. 
Tristana Coronac Faust, the Section 7th Magistrate. Those are all titles. Who's who, though? Oh, we're just going to go for this. Oh, is, is this suit and she raised six, those six to power, but they're not the other statues? I don't know. Let's go have a look at this one anyway. If we get a handle on these uh, quick cutting cameras, that'll be helpful. Iskatel, that's not one of the names listed, was it? The first messenger of the Ascension. He worked alongside Soterius Sibyl Calum, the first Metatron, to found the only sovereign nation under the influence of the Golden Voice in Saga City. Among their many accomplishments, they found among all the choir's children the chosen child in the depths of the city, and brought them to the light so that one day they could do the same for us. Okay. This is a bit of a lore dump, I'm going to be honest. If I'm meant to be taking a lot away from this, I'm probably going to struggle. Udari, known for their generosity towards their fellow children, she showed the new divinity the ways of the old and how to bring back the teachings that were lost on the second Metatron. It was her connection to the first Metatron that ultimately led to the current divinity taking upon their name as their own. But right. Okay, so she was one of the prospective people to be raised to the rank of Metatron, whatever that is, some sort of divinity, but didn't actually succeed. I don't know. This is a lot to take in. I hope there's not, there's not a quiz at the end. Struggling with those snap cuts. I like this guy. It reminds me of Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Wyatt. Though only a messenger for the short <laughs> though only a messenger for a short time, his role in the city was paramount. In the wake of the death of the second Metatron, he helped guide the chosen child to her destiny and showed her how to caress the lost minds of her people back into tranquility and virtue. Okay, so after the second Metatron died, he played a big part in electing the third one, I guess? Or guiding the third one? I don't know, maybe the lost child isn't the third Metatron, it's it's very convoluted. Dascal, renowned for their intellect and knowledge of the world, before the divinity ruled Saga City, they taught a great deal to each other, to each of our cities, be beloved Metatron, Metatron is. Oh yeah, I'm picking up on that, that grammatical mistake, I'm not going to let that slide. He was among the first to find the ch chosen child and help to usher her into her namesake of Lord Prophet. Okay, so there were two Metatrons and then the chosen child took over after they both died and became the Lord Prophet. Sure. Why is there a marker for me? Oh, this is him. Okay, Enoch. A manifestation of the vinculum between the voice and her people. His blindness led to the death of so Sopatra Coronac the Second Metatron. That's a name that was mentioned earlier, right? And he serves now as a reminder that even being chosen by divinity cannot guarantee your salvation. However, even as cursed as he is, the goddess ultimately can find salvation in anyone, and he is a testament to that seeing as And he is a testament to that, seeing as though his betrayal did this seeing as through his betrayal did the city know light as if 
as it was his leave. That's this is I'm struggling with this one. That ascended the divine child to become the third meta. There is nothing here that tells of their betrayal or why I was exiled. It doesn't surprise me that the choir would record that incident this way, though. Okay, so he did presumably something necessary, but it upset a load of people, resulting and resulted in the second Metatron's death. Interesting how the Divine Child was called the third Metatron there, was before she was called the, the Prophet or something. I can't seem to move down. I wanted to be in the middle of that walkway, but it wouldn't let me. Oh, whatever. So I've, I've seen all six statues now. Do I return to Bloody Vomit Woman? Do I now make a decision? I feel like I'm something of a biased electorate, seeing as how I'm one of the candidates, but... Whatever. Don't really remember who's who anyway. I have difficulty voting for myself, to be honest. Ah, okay. So, Christina Coronet Faust. This is. There we go. Is the only one of those we've really had much. Was she the second? No, she can't have been the second Metatron, surely. Because isn't that what we're voting for now? See, I'm confused now because these six were, were listed on the first statue, but then there wasn't really much mention of them beyond that. It did give me a, a brief thing of what they did, but oh, I'm damned if I can remember. She was a magistrate, I believe, Tristana. She was the last one listed, which is why she stuck with me. The others, I can't say, to be honest. You know what, leap of faith, I'm going to elect Kyria Sybil. O oh, vicious song of the divine, grant me a passage from your melody so that your radiance may caress the ear of your chosen child. Kira Sybil. I, uh, oh, I'm back in control. But what was the point in that then? I can change it. I'll stick with I'll stick with Sybil. Uh, oh, I guess we watch this again now. Oh, vicious song of the divine, grant me a passage from your melody so that your radiance may caress the ear of your chosen child, Kira Sybil. Oh, unless I have to... I have to get it right for something to happen. Hmm. Hmm. Right, okay. If we're meant to be naming the third Metatron, they repeatedly referred to it as a female, right? So I feel like that's Dante and Nero out. Who could say with Geiska? I don't know what sort of name that is. Let's try Tristana Coronach Faust because that's the name that stuck with me for some reason. No. What? Maria? That can't be it. 
Oh, so was I right with, with Sybil then? No. No, that can't be it. Hmm, I guess I was. Good guess, me. No, that can't be it. So we've done that. I guess we just... We just leave now, then. I guess we're done. Spooky dudes. Mia tat del visa no bokul hita jot. Oh, that's fine. Just speak foreign at me. Why have I returned? What the fuck is actually you going on? Keep doing this, though. To be honest. This is no different than most nights, eh? You... Come on! Get up! There are people for you to disappoint, and I'd rather not be one of them. Oh yeah, well... I'd really hate to disappoint you. Is that how you treat someone who saves you? See, this is just like you! You're never even self-aware enough to you consider that I might be the one who actually gives a damn about you! Don't you see? I'm trying to break you into something new. I'm trying to help. You're not helping me. Oh! Is that right? Well, don't expect me to believe that someone like you could have made it this far. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. How's it someone whose only role in life is to be a burden to those who can tolerate how spineless and overwhelmingly inept you are, possibly find the strength needed to wake up every day, drag themselves through that miserable excuse of a life you fragment it together to justify indulging your happy dose of cetera every morning? How could you have made it even out of the front goddamn door? Let me out of here. Take me back to her! Go back to her? Go back to her? I'm not like you, Colin. I want to try to subject her to the vile trash you are. I'm going to keep you here just so you can't get to them with all of your shit. Don't worry, though. It's safe here. They can't hurt you here. Everything will be all right. And isn't that really for the best? Isn't it? What are you talking about? I wouldn't hurt them. I wouldn't hurt anyone. Why can't you just leave me alone? Oh, really? You wouldn't hurt anyone, do you hear that? He says he wouldn't hurt anyone! Well, isn't that funny? Can you even hear yourself? You wouldn't hurt anyone! You wouldn't hurt anyone! Then get the fuck out! I have no need to be concerned for a little baby bird like yourself. Where does it go? Back. Back where? Let me out! Let me out! I'm sorry! Take me back! You were right! Take me back! Is that you, Call? It's about time you got back. I've been meaning to talk to you all day. So you're not talking to me again. Is this about the other night? I understand. All I can say is... I'll change. That's really all I can do. Can't we just put this behind us? Please, just come help me get ready. Okay, so now we're uh, apparently reliving some traumatic moment in this guy's past. Apparently we're done with monochrome, man. Music's pretty good. I always like weird music. Can do a lot for a game, I feel. In here? I guess not in here. I guess we should probably be going to see what was casting that shadow. I thought it was like a pool of blood at first, but. Maybe it is, it's splishy splashy. Colin, is that you? Are you there? Mia. 
Namond! Das Wort Kies von Mosu Metatron hat schon mit sich gesagt, dass er seinen Nadion willkommen hat, oder? I'm here fulfilling my drive, Kira. Ich möchte euch Kies zu Lest erzählen. In tut nur Polagat ist zu Tschusik zurückgekehrt. Ich rette euch jetzt eine Ware. Mit der Gedan minden die sie ewig vor. I'm escorting a man to the blood. Schändet! Bist du total weset, Schändet? Und King hängt in der Schuhkermin von etwa von ihrer Kopf. Der Zell war zu lesen Futter von der Poveschinie noch. Wir können nachher Koroschett von der Nuriga Solgoto von Egi hang. Mit wollen Rest von der Tasche Futter, wie geschunden. Aber der kommt zurück in dem einen Gilkusch so, du Schwein, du so, der Rien, was brav, was ihr lernt von Metatron. Nicht der Schild weit gelegt! He is the first person to be born in quite some time. When I met him, he was rambling in the waste to a voice that spoke to him, to a voice I couldn't hear. He talked to this voice of a different world of a past life he can remember, a life that we aren't privileged enough to remember ourselves. When I asked him where he was headed, he said the blood. Chandet! Can you explain to me how he would even know about that place, having not made it through the waste? And I'm Chandet, the Gatsuna Vissasha! Der kommt mit dir. Folgen uns so von ihrem Sieg übers von der Wesen. Mein Sack tut der Mädchen schon die Tiefe von Sagacity. Er hängt dann schon an zu und nicht an Bologen mich an, zu tiefsten von dem Berg. Es lässt zu mir Most, wenn der Gikan in Silni hat da bot der Mädchen Messe von der Weg. Ich bin schon gar nicht, so kann er Silni durch die Tür jagt. Enoch. Du bist der Futter von der Verschiene. Ich bin der Ruhe der Anwohner. Dein Nimbus ist zu viel dort, der Norma. Brauche ich Schienen von der Quaisch von der Kindhang. Der hat versagt, zu teilen sich diese Ruhe in minden Bereichen. Ich lade nicht auf der Rieder über, hat weitergenommen, der von der Norm. Ich lade auch Schemmi oder Ruther von der Stwe. Hat er mich tot aus ihrer Hang in der gleichen Kante, mit der Zeit getan. Hat er mich wahrlich glaubst, die Ratan die Tasche ist weg, schön, ist bis Primini. Hat er tut alle ein Magot, was zu schnallen, ihr Quaisch gesetzt hat. Zu lässt ihre Meere in seine Läste von bis Paradiak. In Kehr von der, zu Ort nicht mehr zu ihrer Most. Hosnald mit Gerät zu Nord, die Tasche hat, von der Schätzer, tot zu Mutter. Zu ihrer Göttin ist mein Liedje, sie hat tolle Gnade für der Seele und Seele. Lad nicht, mit nur ihrer Reis wird, kann tolle, tolle Altes passieren, ihr Most. Colin! Wake up, damn it! Colin! I'm sorry, Alexia. Well, at least you're not dead. Gracie, is that you? Yeah. It's me. Where are we? You fell into one of the choir's old repositories. They used to keep people here to bring into the system. We need to get out of here. Can you get up? Yeah, I think so. Wait. Did you push me over the side? You were a liability up there. I figured I had a better chance of controlling the situation without you standing in the way. So yeah, down you went. You could have killed me. Yeah, I guess, but I didn't. Not yet, anyway. Colin, we don't have time for this. We need to go. The choir could be here any minute. Wait, didn't you get them or something? Yeah, well, it's a work in progress. Right now, the plan involves us getting the hell out of the city. First, we need to get out of this damn tower. Come on, I can open these doors. This way. So, I mean, it's hard to tell right now. But here's my, uh, my guesstimate. Colin is the crazy man that monochrome dude found in the wastes. And in Colin's crazy mind, monochrome man looks like this chick. Possibly because she's someone from his former life. I don't know. Are you able to keep going? 
Colin, we don't have time for this. They're on their way. Colin! Who's Alexia? What? When I found you, you were saying her name. You said you were sorry. Is she someone you remember from your life, or...? You don't have to tell me. I've just been wondering ever since that night at my place. I just... Is she the one who's been talking to you? How did you know those were... What did you call them? Containment units? What? Were you in the choir? Colin, I don't know what you're on about, but I didn't- Why do you hate them so much, Tracy? Oh, you mean I need a reason after all the shit they just tried to pull on us? Alright, but they can't be all that bad. I mean, Anok's a- Anok is just as bad as the rest of them. I don't care what kind of person you think he is, but the choir are all fanatics who terrorize people and control their lives by telling them that there is salvation. That's great and all, this veil of false hope. But the truth is, there is no voice, and there is no salvation. The choir knows it, the Metatron knows it, and Enoch knows it. Enoch isn't like that. I don't care. You can't put your faith in him anymore. You need to trust me. He's one of them, and he always will be. Oh. Maybe I was wrong. I guess this guy's Anok. The voice has left you, Kira. Me? I said the voice has left you, Kira, though I have doubts it was ever with you at all. Te bozas to su chistavo, te fohaven tu tol, te hutol su jun botoku, a kwaia valta tsaile su zonaha. After what you did to me, I think I'm more than justified in my actions. Lest we forget what you turned this once holy organization into. You alone sit on that throne, guiding my brothers and sisters down a road to certain damnation. You are no Metatron. Your role here was a mistake, and I- All Zaylaz and Durachi! I, Enoch, the last messenger of the Ascension, hereby employ my authority as the only listener of God to inform you of my drive. The drive that has been ordained to me from her voice and her voice alone. I will take sagacity from you, Kira Sibyl. Even if that means I must break the very foundation that's built me. That's gotta be him. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Is this? It's DDR. Shit. Um. Uh, fuck, Jesus. I think I'm doing okay. Oh uh, shit, what? What? I don't know what that means. Is that? I appear to be taking a lot of damage. I must have fucked that up. So oh wait, hang on. Down. <laughs> right. I failed. That's understandable. Oh, hello. I don't know. I assume that's triangle? It's not, I mean, aside from anything else, I'm using an Xbox controller, so it's clearly not triangle anyway, but... Uh, just waggle the D-pad around a bit. There we go. There wasn't much of a fight scene. They just strike poses at each other, mostly. Nice particle effects. Oh. I did that one right at least. What? Is this just 
press any button? Oh no. Uh, fuck knows. What am I meant to be pressing? Did you game? What's going on over there? Just clipping into each other. Uh, that's X, right? I think we decided that was X. I'm just meant to be mashing it. I'm mashing it. Okay. Well, she's on the floor, so maybe I'm winning. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't expecting this coming into this. I feel like with slightly more readable commands, this could be a pretty interesting concept, but... Did, did I win? There's no way I did that well enough to win. I was, I was guessing at most of what those buttons were meant to be. If you hit two of them correctly, do you pass or something? Oh, and that's the end. Hmm. See, if this is just like one episode in a multi-part series, and I'm just an idiot, then there's potential here. If that was meant to be a standalone, though, it was a horrible convoluted mess. So... Okay. That was Colin's voice in his head. Oh, and the, the game's closed. I guess we're done with it then. Um, I'm genuinely intrigued now. Was is that meant to be? Was was that like part? Of a story or what? Going back to the, the Steam page while we're talking. I'm afraid you're just stuck with a black screen now because I was just recording the window, but. Um. Nothing to indicate. Yeah, the developers only put that out, so I guess that's it. It's weird that it's called Session 6, but I see no indication of there being a Session 1 to 5. Uh, what we have here available is now a short proof of concept that I was able to complete. Okay, it's a proof of concept. Well, based on that, there's definitely potential there. A lot of the animations were rough. Um, some of the models were just... They went beyond Uncanny Valley, to be honest, as I say, very, very PlayStation 1-y. Um, and obviously the, the DDR section, unexpected, not necessarily unwelcome, but confusing, very confusing. I, I really, like, I didn't even know what I was doing until I'd already failed an awful lot of inputs. And uh, even when I got a grasp on it, I was thoroughly confused by what half the inputs were meant to be but there's a there's an interesting little story there and if it gets developed into a a more complete game at some point then I'll, I'll definitely keep an eye on it it could be it could be something it could really be something but as it stands 
if this is all we're getting from the metonymy universe i i mean aside from having something that having put an idea into my head as as something that might be worth my time in future that aside i feel like i just wasted 40 minutes to be honest it wasn't a massively good experience a lot of it was just walking up and down that hallway at a ridiculously slow pace and then the rest of it was just cutscenes that didn't make a great deal of sense so I'll let that speak for itself so yeah this this one's gonna end up in my uh, my bad games playlist I guess but that's not necessarily a diss on the the one guy who clearly worked, worked his balls off to get this out there or indeed on the finished project if it ever sees the light of day that's just my two cents anyway and uh, as for the rest of you have a good day I'll see you